it's not too early to start thinking about Christmas ornaments. The fall season is coming up soon. If you make Christmas ornaments, this is what you need to use. Let me show you my jig in action. If you do paint pouring on Christmas ornaments, this is what you need to use. I have a box full of ornaments that have been hanging around a little while. So these are not blanks, but they're just ones that I've experimented on and I just want to I just want to give them a little bit of a makeover. I'm going to demonstrate on these. So this is my jig. It's full of nails and um, just there's a, a link to the video in the description below. So let's do one from the bottom. Here's one that was a, an experiment. It's kind of interesting there. We'll do this one from the side and then I don't know what I was doing with this one, but let's just use that one from the top. See how easy they balance? Look at that. Kind of like a pin cushion. I'm going to do four. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, I want to do another one from the bottom. So I'm going to go like that. Let's spread it out a little bit. So look how easy. Now every once in a while, if you put one on the side, this tip kind of wants to make it, you know, balance itself, but you just, um, all right, this one's kind of pretty, but it is, I don't know. All right, now I already have my paints pre-mixed in squirt bottles. This is, because I use this color a lot, I use white a lot, and this blue, I'm pretty sure this already has Floetrol mixed in it, but my mixture is one part paint to four parts Floetrol and then a little bit of water to make it kind of liquidy. So I've already mixed these paints up and this one is the same. I had, this is a um, Dollar Tree color. It's really pretty. It's deep blue by the Dollar Tree. See, deep blue. And I've already, it had, a, there was a little bit of paint left in this bottle. So I went ahead and it was probably that much with paint. And then I added the rest, um, Floetrol, and then a little bit of water. So these are the, the only three colors I'm going to use. I'm going to layer my paints in a paper cup. There is no silicone in any of these paints, okay? It's just paint. American flow troll and water. So this is less of a video on how to mix paint. It's not a video on how to mix paint. This is a video on how to create a pour and I'm demonstrating my jig. Okay. Get up there. Okay. You know what? I need to put my apron on. And so I'm going to, from the side, I'm going to start with blue and then I'm going to add the white. My white is apple barrel and this I'm not sure what color Art Smith maybe. And so you just layer, layer your paints the way that you want. This might, blue might be a little bit thick. And what I did last year that worked out really well, I dipped my paint or my balls in white and created kind of a slippery surface, primed it a little bit first. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and try this. All right, here we go. Because this is just a demonstration of, you know what, let me add a little bit of blue on top. So that's what it looks like layered. Already getting some cells in there. So I'm just gonna look how pretty that is. Oh, let's, let's do that one this way.
Look how pretty this is. That's pretty right there. Let me show you from the side what's going on here. You see that okay? So I think I do like having a, a little bit of paint on the ball first. For sure, but I, this is just a demo. Ooh. This is just a demo of the jig. This is not a demo on paint pouring, although these are pretty cool. You can create all kinds of cool patterns. I love these little stringy bits that come out of the cup. But this is what I want you to see. So this is what I want you to see is how cool this jig works. So the paint is dripping down on the wood, but it's creating really cool colors and patterns, just like my, you know, the, the one that I made last year, it's creating some really, really cool effects and patterns. And I want to see if it's, it probably is not dripping on the other side. I'm gonna make a mess, aren't I? Let's see, it's coming right up. See, it's dripping down. All right, see, we're not getting very good coverage, but that's because I don't have anything on the other side. So I think what I wanna do, just because I, I wanna demonstrate really, the one from the bottom is working better. I'm gonna flip this over because I want these to, I want this to dry. You know what I could do? Hold on. No. All right, let me just do this because I want it to dry on the paint. I want the paint to dry on the nails on that one. I think this one too. Oh, this one's so cool. Look at that. I love it. All right, let, I'm just gonna leave that because that's kind of cool. All right, I'm just gonna leave them. This one I wanna show you that even though the paint dries on the nails, they pop right off. So, okay, this was just a demo, but I love that. Look at that. I probably couldn't re recreate that if I tried. Hmm. What do you think, should I re-pour that one? I think I should re-pour that one. All right, let me flip this one over and try not to make a mess. Remember, this is just for demo purposes only. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on in my cup real quick. is amazing too. So let's just finish this one. The smaller the stream, the smaller your rings are going to be. But y'all, how cool is that? That is flippity amazing. I 
here it goes. Well, this one's weird because it's got all that sand on it. Look at that. I love that. All right, I gotta get rid of this in this cup. So what do you think? Just redo this one? Let's do it. That's so cool. It's got some teal on this one. This is so addictive so addictive. Okay. I think we got enough paint on there. Look at the cup. That's so cool. All right. So I'm going to let it sit. All right. So it has been several hours and the paint on the top is pretty much almost dry. Like I can, I can pick it up. I'm not leaving any smudges. It's dry on the top. It's still wet on the bottom. This is what I want to show you first. So the ornament is definitely on the nail like it's balanced on the nail can you see it and so little of the surface of the ornament is on the nail that you can just pop it right off and look now i did miss that spot but this is a test anyway and this is still wet but look there's no indentation at all and once you cover it with resin you won't see it anyway so this is what makes this jig so great it's it's amazing um now to finish this one i probably will finish this one at some some point maybe by putting some crushed glass or something around the top or whatnot so i want to do this one next i don't know if you can see it i missed a lot there but so it doesn't even stick it does not stick i mean there might be a little bit but it does not stick is so great this one's probably i don't know gonna be in the trash because it's got some lumpy stuff on it i'm not sure i like this one that's okay all right let's do this one that was on the side it's just gonna pop now there's a little mark there but even the back side is cool it looks like um you know how in star wars when the spaceships go into hyperspeed and the, the stars all like just get sucked into the screen that's what it looks like but i love that now it gets a little bit crazy here but i love it and if you want you could flip it over when the top is dry and try to flatten out that little tip there all right this is the last one i don't know yeah, see, I messed up a lot on that one, but it looks kind of dull right now, but once you put resin on the paint, it really, really does even out, and it shines it back up. Let me move these aside. 
And this is the cool design that I have on my board. Look at that. Now I've got some sawdust in here, but I don't care. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is just the coolest design. That is so cool. So I'm going to keep building on that. As I make ornaments, I'm going to keep filling up the board. And then at the end of the season, I'm going to have a really cool painting again. So that's the follow up. This is how you use it. Well, that one's a little bit loose, but that's how you use it. You'll be seeing a lot more of these. And I know this week these were tests, but I think I'm actually going to finish this one. And I'm going to finish this one. I might finish all of them. Because I have a whole box of ornaments that just, I don't know, got messed up. Like, this was an experiment. It was kind of a fail. And I didn't put it on my booth. But, I mean, the ornament itself is still good. So, I might try making something with those. And some where the, the paint chipped off. Um, this one, I have no idea what I was thinking. But... Anyway, so give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me know if you have any questions building or using the jig. All right. I need to maybe find a new name for this. It's not really a jig. What would you call it? If you're not going to call it a jig, what would you call it? 